everyone, welcome to a Stamping to Share video. My name is Kay Kaltop and thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to share with you a stamp set that I hope you don't miss. It's one of the retiring stamp sets in our 2016-17 annual catalog. You can find it on page 40 and it's called Picture Perfect. And it looks like this. This is the actual catalog page from our 2016-17 catalog. And I'm so sad to see it go because it has the perfect honey hummingbird in it. It also has some nice layering that you can do with a starfish and some beautiful roses. But the reason I'll be keeping this stamp set in my collection forever is because of the hunting, hummingbird. And of course, the in colors from this past year that are retiring, the mint macaron, the watermelon wonder, and the tip top taupe are just perfect on this hummingbird. Let me give you a little close up of what this looks like. It is so gorgeous. So we are going to stamp this card. It's really simple and easy to create. The paper, the mint macaron paper that we're going to use is actually light enough that you don't even need a layer on the inside. You can just hand write your message on the inside. And of course you could change this up and make it a birthday card or a Mother's Day card or whatever you wish. But again, this is a stamp set that I think was a little bit overlooked in this catalog. And it's one that um, I, won't be, I won't be selling this. I'll be keeping this in my collection. I absolutely love the hummingbird. And so let's go ahead and get started creating this. We are going to start with our base card here, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. This is mint macaron. And just as a reminder, that is a color that will be retiring with um, this catalog. And so we won't be seeing this anymore, and it is still available. The re-inkers are not available, but some of the accessories are available, the paper is still available, and the ink pad is available. The next layer that we're going to do our stamping on is a piece of very vanilla, and it is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So I'm going to bring my Stampin' Mat. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see through it to exactly where you're stamping. This is just one eighth inch smaller than the panel we're going to layer it on, which is why you have some kind of odd measurements. But again, it's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And so what I did is, in advance of the video, I kind of set it up on a large block so that I could stamp all three of these stamps at the same time. It's one of the things I enjoy when I work with the photopolymer stamp sets, I love just being able to layer things all on one block because I can see through it and know exactly where it's going to go. So we are going to ink this up with early espresso ink. So I have my early espresso ink here and I'm just going straight down because I don't want to get ink on the actual block, the acrylic block that we're using. So I'm kind of being careful and just going straight down and making sure that I'm not getting any ink on the block. So you can see how I've inked that up. The block is clear, so if the block would happen to touch anything, it won't get ink on it. The only thing that I have ink on are the photopolymer stamps. So I'm just going to flip this over, and because this is already lined up, I can just go ahead and just put this straight down give it a nice press, and we should be able to have three nice images all at one time. Now this is our, our largest block that Stampin' Up! carries, our largest acrylic block, and it's really nice for when you want to go ahead and do a bunch of stamps on one acrylic block. So there you go. Didn't that turn out gorgeous? Just love it. All right, let's go ahead now and we're going to put the body of the bird on. And so the hummingbird body is going to be in mint macaron. So again, I have this already set up on a block and I'm just taking my mint macaron and going straight down. And again, making sure that I didn't get any ink anywhere else. And it looks like I did, but I'm going to be a little bit more careful here and just go straight down and straight up. You don't want to rock your blocks because when you rock things, that's when things get a little off kilter and that's when you can get ink smears where you don't want them. So we're just going to set this in and bring that up and look how gorgeously that stamped. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so the next thing we're going to do is mint macaron. I'm going to put some shading into this beautiful hummingbird. So again, have it set up on a block. I'm just going to go in with my mint macaron straight down, straight up, and do the same thing. And so we're just going to line this up as best we can. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
just so that it's in there about where you want it. Give it a press down, bring it up, and there it is. Absolutely lovely. Then we're going to take the throat of the hummingbird, and that is inked up in Watermelon Wonder. Again, another one of those retiring in colors. So these in colors just work so beautifully for this hummingbird. So we're going to set that in there, and we have our hummingbird complete. And now I did go ahead and stamp this in advance just because I didn't want to work with such wet ink, so I wanted to give that a little time to dry. But here's one I did just a few minutes before I started the video so that I can go ahead and just start layering this up because I'd like to give that a couple minutes to set. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on a panel of Watermelon Wonder, which is three and three-fourths by five inches, and we're just going to do that with some snail. This is a very nice and simple card, just a couple of layers, no other embellishments because the stamping is so beautiful, you just want the stamping to show through looking awesome. So we'll set this in here, press this down, and now what we're going to do is just go ahead and we'll layer this onto the front of our card base. So we'll bring our card base into the picture, set this in here, and it looks just gorgeous. So our card is complete. Here's the one I just did for you. Here's the one I had done in advance. Thank you so much for being a part of my little fan club here over on YouTube or part of my blog. I truly appreciate you. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! product order, you can run over to my blog. I have some links there. Or if you click See More in my YouTube video, if you're on YouTube, you can see the bit.ly links that will take you right to the products. Have a great day. Bye-bye.